Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to come on here and first thank We Are Memory Keepers for sending all these wonderful items to me. I've worked with them in the past and it was a birthday gift to me. And they sent me two of these, so I'm going to have a giveaway. And what these are is the advanced Precision Press from We Are Memory Keepers. I thought you would really enjoy having this. I've never used it, so we'll put this to the side and we'll just kind of go through everything. All of this goes together. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Tear Guides. And it's just what it says. You put down the ruler, you wet the paper, dampen it, you don't soak it, and you tear the paper from it. And they have different designs. It's kind of cool. That's what that is. These are the scallops. And I have five eighths, one inch, and an inch and a half. That's real nice. And this is a crocodile. It is a punch. It's an era hexagon star, like a flower. And this is a heart. And I have two different ones of these. This is kind of like for your journals. Um, it's two dots, a square, and these lines you can actually create a book, and that's a small circle. So that's what these are. Layering rulers. Lay it down and you can cut along. And I'll demonstrate this at a different time, but they're really cool. Makes it easy. This is another journaling. It's kind of neat. I, I like the circle and you can actually do the colors, color wheel on it. And that's really neat. Then they sent me this device and it is the twist trimmer. Each one of these represent a different cutting. And this is, let me turn it this way. This is for scoring, performance and deco and wavy scallop stamp. This is, to me, this is a different stamp design. Oh, there's one more. It's the 12 by 12 precision, advanced precision press from We Are Memory Keepers. And I was thrilled to get this one. It is really nice. So let me stop the video. I'll clear this up to where we can do a proper demonstration of their advanced precision press. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna open this up first. It's the 12 by 12 precision press. Well, I think I'm gonna open it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad I opened these up because I actually like the <laughs> magnets covered like this. It makes it really nice. Turn it the right way. And boy, is that not nice has the grid on there. And these are your magnets. And I just like them. I like them when they have them like this. And that's your uh, platform where you pick up your stamps. It's similar to the other one. It's just a lot larger. So we're gonna put it to the side and I'm not opening both of these. Let me look and see which one I think looks the nicest. I think this one is. So I'm gonna put it to the side and this will be the giveaway. 
Alrighty. I like that they prepulate the back of these. And this tells you a little bit about the stamping platform. You just may want to put it somewhere and keep it. But you get a book about the precision press. Oh, this is nice. They have a little thumb that fits on here that's cut just right to go over the each of those dolls. This is the way it lays, just like that. And I, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. And this is your magnets. Y'all know that I'm not gonna use these magnets. I will deal with it a different way. You may want to, so I'm gonna show it the proper way, the way that they say to do it. I did a little bit of prep work. So here's our paper, it's a five by seven. I like doing five by seven cards. Put it up in the top corner. Boy, that magnets, look how strong. <laughs> Uh, I gotta leave that alone. I'll be playing with that all day. Okay, so what we want to do is get our stamp. And I thought it would be nice to use the Gina K that um, I purchased from her. And this is the way I do mine. Now, I've already opened it up because... You can tell I was die cutting because there's stuff on here. Now this design is her antique rose. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to put it about right here. And the reason I do this, it comes with a top and a bottom but they're not together, well, all I do is flip it over and I tape them together. And that way you have a hinge and it's just easier to get in and out of the bag. All right, it is a new stamp. So it is gonna be very, very sticky. Just make sure you have it all the way over in the corner and up. And you may want to rub this stamp some because it is polymer, so that's a good thing. And so you can see it real good. I'm not gonna do it in color. I'm actually gonna use Versified. And it being a new stamp, I may have to re-stamp it. And that's it. That's how simple it is. There's no hinge. Yes, see, I was right. I will have to re-stamp. You just put it back into the dolls. And it was right in here. And I don't have a, a good pressure with my hand. So let's hope. I can still see it's, it's good. And I see the ink on here, so I'm not going to re-ink. I'm just going to Press a little bit harder. And let 
let's see if that didn't do it. That did it. That stamped it real good. Okay, move this. There's no double stamp. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I really, really love stamping positioners. And this one's real reasonable. Wow, I love that design too. Gina K did a fantastic job. Now, you never put up a stamp dirty. I have my little shimmy right here. And I'm just going to wipe this to clean it. And I'm not going to polymer clay stamps are just really quality stamps. You, you get what you pay for when you order from uh, creators like Gina K and Tim Holtz and people like that, you get quality stamps. They're not made of some, it's going to stretch out of shape or, you know, and I've gotten stamps like that and it's all right to use them, but I really like quality stamps. They work really good. What I do is I just put it back on here till that dries. You do not want to put it up wet. Leave it out like that. Now I'm going to use the Tim Holtz. And I'm going to do a little something different. Make sure, make sure my fingers are clean. So you don't have to change anything on this. So I'm going to pull this out. Let me get a piece of paper. And yes, you can use an eight and a half by 11. And if you see me, I'm being extremely careful not to get these two magnets together because they are very strong. They're pushing away from each other, which I think is hilarious. Watch. <laughs> uh, enough playing. My goodness. Get on with the demonstration. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll make sure my base is there. All right, now, and I'll get my plate here, turn it over, put it in. It don't take much to get those up, believe me. And that's, that's rubber. Red rubber is wonderful, they're new. So let's see what I do with these. How they gonna step out. And what I will probably do with these is I'll use my sprays on them after I cut them with my brother's skin and cut. If you don't have a brother's skin and cut, you can, you can do these with the scissors. Now, flip this over with the peg system. It's really nice. Oh, wow. I see that may be, well, we'll just make sure. Go right back in the pegs. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Now, if you want, 
I can turn it this way, but I'm thinking I will have to move that one. Yes, I will. Can't get them. What I'm doing is moving it slightly. Keep your shimmy close. Let's see if I got it out of the way now. Yes, I do. So that's going to work out great. the stamps again. My thumb's dirty and I didn't catch it, but my paper sure caught it right there. Make sure you have this turned right. Magnets in the way. That looks good. That is plenty dark enough. And look at there. We just about filled up that whole page. Let me clean this magnet. Just make sure you have it up and over. And what we'll do is the stamps that we didn't use, we'll clean this first. And we'll put one right there. I might can do both of them. One right there. And that's enough room around everything for my scanning cut. Now, I may have to change it when I do the back side. So let's take these off. And I'm gonna leave them up like this so they can dry real good. And let's pick this up. And you don't have to, you can turn it any way you want. You can stamp this, go in and put it down a different way. You can do that with this one. Not so much with others though. Pick it up and let's stamp it. See, we'll have a whole page of eight and a half by 11 with these leaves, which that just makes me happy. <laughs> Not wasting paper. All right, I'm not sure that I could do it without taking the stamps off. We're gonna see, because these are different. They'll be kind of different. So, it's going to work. All right, I'm going to move that down, and I keep touching this, and I'm trying not to.
perfect. Sit that to the side and let it dry. But isn't that beautiful? Wow. Put these on here. And I'll put that to the side. They sent me this. It's just the acrylic block. And you can have extras. It's probably going to be a long video. Let's see if I can... It's, it's really neat. Really like these I'm in the leaves so let's get our our paper this is not thick paper it's very thin so I'm gonna put it on here yes eight and a half by eleven and can take another stamp and scoot it because sometimes these stamps want to cling to your finger and they'll just move. And I'm going to pick this up and make sure that it's straight. And I can see that, all right, let's just Okay, I paused my video because I noticed when I put this up that this will bend your paper. When you're using this stamping block, you will need to do it that way. You will need to cut it. And it's just a little over six inches. And it won't stamp till you press down, and then it will stamp. That is cool. I like that. And all I do is come down a peg. That's it's perfect, guys. Now I'm gonna move these stamps up here. Be real careful because this versified is, oh no, that's not gonna work. It's probably dry, but I don't, don't wanna take a chance. I'll put it right there. And we need to ink. Just remember to go one down. And see, it's not touching yet. It doesn't touch till I do this and it touches. So if you make a mistake, just don't press down on it. It's really pretty. <laughs>
I'm so thankful they sent this to me. If you want to see more of these type of little hints or demonstrations of stamping, then don't forget to hit the, uh, the subscribe button. And give me a thumbs up, please. It helps the atom rhythm of my videos. So they'll show more. And I want to shout out and say thank you so, so much. I am almost up to 400 subscribers, which just really blows me away. I am never thought I would have, and I, I know you don't have to tell me, with other teachers out there, they have hundreds and thousands. So, you know, I'm aware of that. I'm a little peon in the ocean. I want to make sure. Yeah, I don't have to move it yet. That's better. I'm not going to do that last one in the middle. Number one, some of them are going that way, and then these down here, I can cut this and have this as a backing of a card. But is that not cool? Like I said, just cut it a little over six inches or right at six inches, and then you can do a background of different things. Think of Christmas and have little snowflakes or, you know, things like that for your background. It's so cool. But you can always purchase these from them and these are a lot less expensive than the stamp positioner. And I'm going to put this on the outside. Like I said, let these dry. You don't want dampness and water on these or it could mold. So that's the demonstration of the We Are Memory Keepers Advanced Stamping Tool. So let's, you know what, I got an idea. Okay, I want to show you what I do a lot of times. I want it to where I can die cut around it. And just let it sit there for a minute. That's beautiful. Just a note to say thank you. And I usually just do my own sentiments, but I like this one. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, I can do it right there. All right. Take my shimmy and just clean that off. And 
This is Gina Case. It's much thicker. So you can't do those two together. But you can do them like this. Yeah, that's that's good right there. It's gonna be cut anyway. So we'll go up here. We pick it up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You could take and do that and uh, emboss it in gold, and that would be gorgeous, just like that. To me, the polymer clay is so much clearer. It is, they're just better quality. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to leave it on there and let it dry real good while I get out the die cut machine. And we'll open this up. Now this is the Evolution die cut machine. It's the Mini. Comes with guys. Here's the instructions. Oh, a little embossed in paper. Oh wow. So let's get the little machine out. you don't know me, I like miniatures. Um, I, I like the Cricut Maker 3, but I also like my Cricut Joy. And the same way with the Sidekick, I like it. So we're gonna, this has a little thing where it clamps down and it rolls, and boy, look at that. It moves my whole class. <laughs> wow. All right. Now, I can tell you, this is not gonna go through there. You're gonna have to cut it in half. So, let's do that right quick. Now, I'm just gonna use my Cricut. I'm not even gonna open it up, because I know where I want to cut it. It's under three inches, so that's what you want. There's that. And you want it under three inches on this. There's that. And you saw this, I am not keeping that. You would have tons of stuff. I'm just not gonna do it. It's not me. Put the little die cut machine in, put it down. Better look at the, you have a gray plate, a blue, a uh, clear plate that's blue. You have your die cut uh, facing up, your paper, and then you have a clear plate. So, let's do it like they say. I'm going to just use a little bit of, I'm not going to cut each one. I'm just going to cut this one. So we'll do what they say. This is the way they say it. They say lay your die cut down with the cut facing up. Then lay your paper. We taped it, so there's the paper. And then they say to use your B plate, and that's this one. So we're going to use the B plate 
and we're going to go in. And it's that's the way it's going to sound, okay? And I'm just going to run it through because that's just you don't. There's no need in running it backwards. All right, there's just no need in it. Now we have a cut on the plate, and that's the way it's going to be. Isn't that beautiful? Just a note to say thank you. And these are really nice, but I do mass thank you things. So if I'm just doing one or two, yeah, I'll do it that way, but... You can, I'm going to reuse this tape. I'm going to try to. it over and I flip these that was that way I'm gonna do it this way you don't have to it's just who I am it's what I do And there that is. So the die cut machine works perfectly. Nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to do the rest of these. I'll do them later. I'm getting a little bit tired. <laughs> if we want to emboss the B, we have the E plate. That's that one. This cutting plate goes away when you're embossing. You want the E plate, that's what this is. Then you want your paper and your your um, embossing folder. We got two. I like these, I'm gonna use them. And we need paper. So E plate, it's on the bottom other plate and it's your B plate and this will emboss <laughs> that's cute look at that it really embossed good and I'll just take the scissors and snip that. But this would be cute for tags. That is really cute. I like that. So that is the end of the demonstration. Let me get the giveaway. I'm not putting up the emails because that is nothing but asking for scammers. So if you see a message with an email or a link, do not, I'm telling you, do not click on it. These guys have really gotten clever with it and it's terrible. So to enter this, all you have to do is like this video and uh, subscribe. You don't have to subscribe, but it would be nice if you would. It's not a I'm not making it that way. So if you just like the video and put a comment, then the dialogue that I use will pick out a winner and I'll come on in around a month and let you know who, who won this device. And it'll be just like this and mail it out to you that way. Do not put your address up on this thing. Do not. 
it will all be done through a messenger on Facebook. And uh, so that's how, and unfortunately it has to be in the US. I am so sorry. My YouTube channel is small. I'm almost to 400. Take care. Until next time, keep crafting everyone. God bless you, each and every one. Bye for now. Thank you all who stayed till the end of this video. Here's a recap on everything we made.